Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin is reaching critical price levels as Pantera Capital is saying Bitcoin could rally very soon. And this chart here showing why the worst of it is most likely over. You'll definitely want to stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we are talking about the continued Bitcoin rally, how we could be heading towards some resistance in the very near future, plus many reasons why Bitcoin should and could rally soon and why the worst of it is over. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Also, come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Now, Bitcoin and the entire market up almost 4% today bitcoin at 39.368 ethereum at 28.09 bnb at 380 xrp at 77 cents cardano 92 cents solana 92 dollars terra luna 74 dollars and avalanche 80 dollars now if we take a look the fear and greed today right around 26 not as bad as it's been but right around the same levels of fear not exactly an extreme fear just yet and if you want to know the top coins today based on artificial intelligence and machine learning and over 80 different indicators that'll tell you exactly which coins to buy on the most profitable exchanges out there. Well, today on Crypto.com, we have Pax Gold, Bitcoin, Beefy Finance, API3, and Numerare. And if you want to check this out for yourself, there is a discounted link down in the description. Now, in the news today, Pantera Capital is saying that Bitcoin could rally very, very soon. They're saying that tax day and the consequence of the Fed's policies could boost Bitcoin's price in the near future now without you having to uh, read through the whole article basically the premise is that people have made some gains most people have gone all in cryptocurrency and now that tax day is coming up they're going to need to liquidate some of those cryptocurrencies to pay their taxes this adds some ta some sell pressure but guess what after tax day which would be i think april 18th or something like that after that no more sell pressure all of a sudden the price can go back up because we have a lot of people continuing to embrace Cryptocurrencies, Goldman Sachs execs joining Coinbase. It's time to embrace the crypto economy. Everybody from Wall Street to wherever is into cryptocurrencies. So if we take a look at the price here, first thing we can do is it appears from this that we got wicked off twice already in the past year. You can see wick off one, wick off two, and this supports it right here. This is the realized loss might be a coincidence or a pattern of human psychology. Either way, it's hard to ignore the similarities of realized loss versus summer 2021. Now, we had the wick off patterns right here, but based on this realized loss, it's almost identical as well. We have two giant peaks, the second one lower than the first, and then we have these lower peaks where the last two are shorter and shorter. So potentially, hey, we got wicked off twice, but looking at Bitcoin price right now, now, we pretty much called this bottom right here. We were calling it a few hundred dollars less, but because it was just been previous support. So why wouldn't it support again? And as a matter of fact, if Bitcoin can continue this move up to this level here, well, guess what? There's a 97% chance it'll go up to this level here. But before we get there, we have to break through this dotted line, this downtrend that Bitcoin's been in since November. This has been pretty sharp resistance and Bitcoin is butting up against it. It's right around $42,000 right now. As a matter of fact, Bitcoin is in this triangle, this little wedge right here, between $42,000 and $33,000. It has like $10,000 of wiggle room. Either way, it'll tell us, hey, do we have something bullish going on? Or is this worse? Is this bearish? And if we take a look at this chart right here, we can see this suggests that another thing that suggests that after the tax day sell pressure is gone, it looks very, very bullish. So if we take a look at the realized cap hodl waves from previous peaks, this is 2015, this is 2019, and this is now, we can see that after we have a peak, we have, uh, you may be able to see this here, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but there's a darker yellow and then a lighter yellow. Well, the peak of the darker yellow is the six to 12 month peaks. The lighter yellow is the one year to two year peaks. And as you can see here, between those two peaks, it was the first one was 360 days and if we travel down from that second peak that's already in the beginning of the up wave now again we go to 2018 2019 we have the peak of the six 12 month peaks we have the peak of one to two year peaks and guess what when we go down already in the upward wave well right now we've already had the peak of the six to 12 month peaks and 90 days which coincidentally is just about half of 190 days, which was just about half of 360 days, well, we're there right now. So that could suggest that we just witnessed the second peak, this one to two-year peaks, where potentially 
after that, the price will continue to go up. There's a lot of evidence suggesting that this right here is the bottom. Bitcoin price will not go lower than there, but we'll kind of have to wait and see. Play it by ear. But definitely, if Bitcoin breaks through $42,500, and especially if it breaks through $46,000, 97% chance we are going to the moon. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Also check out Token Metrics for yourself. Discounted link down in the description. I will catch you guys later. Love you. Peace.